Good morning. Uh, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel, Amy's Adventures in Blunderland. Today it's a bit different because it's a Sunday, but we are going to do Mum's first stall with Spirit Helene. So I'm going to take you along with us. Morning guys, it's Monday and you have guessed it that I am walking to work. Um, I'm squinting because the sun's in my eyes so sorry about that. It's a gorgeous day and yes last night I thought I'm going to walk to work tomorrow and when my alarm went off this morning I didn't think oh I can't be bothered. I got up and I thought yeah I'm going to walk to work. And here I am, walking to work. So yesterday, you'll have seen, we did Mum's first Spirit Helene stall. I don't know if I told you actually. Spirit Helene is named after my nanny, who passed away a couple of years ago. My mum's mum. And it's selling spiritual gifts and supplies, so crystals, jewellery, um, things like that. So that was really good. It was a good like, little practice run, had fun. And she's got some more booked in, the next one's in a couple of weeks. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Tomorrow I'm working from home, which I'm quite excited about. I don't know if that's sad or not. Is it sad? I'm working from home, so that'll be good. I'll be able to crack on and get a load of things done. Um, I've also got some exciting things to tell you. Oh, it's windy. But I won't do it now. I'll do it later on. It's not too exciting, but I'm quite excited about it. Uh, it's to do with a magazine and my interest in, interest in spiritualism are linked to it as well. Also, on a side note, my hair is like this, I'm not wearing it to work like this, I just scraped it back and clipped it up because it's windy and I thought it'd be easier. Otherwise it'll be a knotty mess when I get to work. I'm also out of breath, I think that's because I'm talking and um, walking at the same time. Have I got anything else to tell you? Um, I don't think I have. I think that's it for now. Crossing over the road. Um, yes, so I've finally got the motivation to walk to work. And this is evidence of me doing it. <laughs> so I'll speak to you later.
Good evening. It is Tuesday and I have been working from home today, which I haven't done before and I really enjoyed it. It was really good, really productive. I got loads done and I want to do it again. So hopefully that'll be a um, a regular thing. Hmm, I'm out of focus there, aren't I? There we go. So I have no makeup on and my hair is just clipped back, so sorry about that. Um, so yesterday I briefly touched upon um, the exciting news situation um, which, were, which is to do with a magazine and my interests in spiritualism. So I am going to be featuring in a magazine. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should elaborate a little bit. Um, it's not quite as show busy as it sounds. So, um, in February. I applied for well actually let's let's first of all um it's called Take a Break Fate and Fortune magazine and they have um a section in there when where you can communicate with um pets that have passed away. So if you didn't know already my cat Bella um was run over in July last year and died um so i wrote in emailed and said i'd really love to hear from her um <laughs> sounds a bit daft to hear from from a cat but they can communicate in the spirit world um i'd really like to hear from her i want to know where she was going because on the the road where she was just it wasn't our road that we live on yeah, so I want to hear from her, make sure she's all right, that she wasn't in any pain, and where she was going, basically, and what the hell she thinks she was doing. Um, so I just emailed, thought nothing more of it, and then a month later, so earlier this month, I got an email from them saying, we want to feature Bella in the magazine, can you send me um, a picture of yourself, a picture of Bella, your name, your age, and where you're from. So I did all that and they said it's going to be in the next issue. So I'm excited but <laughs> I, I'm not sure which issue the next issue is that she meant the lady that emailed me because this was March and obviously we're still in March at the moment although when you watch this we won't, we won't be but anyway. Um, or will we be? What day is it on? I can't. Anyway, it, she'd emailed me in March to say that it would be next month. So I assumed that that would be April and the magazine would be out in April. But then when we looked in the shops today, it's the May magazine that's out. So I'm worried that I've missed April's magazine and that was the one that I was in. So I've emailed her. Um, but also you can buy back copies. Um, so you can order them online so if it is the April one and I've <laughs> missed it um, we'll have to order it online and also because I've given up magazines for Lent uh, I won't be able to buy it so my mum is going to do that if if it is the April issue that I was in so that is the exciting news I am going to be or have already been in um, featuring on a uh, in a feature in Take A Break, Fate and Fortune magazine. And when I do get a copy, I will show you. So that is my exciting news. So yes, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment.
Hello. Good evening. It is Thursday. Um, I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. Sorry about that. Um, I've just come on to say to give you a magazine update because I am going to be famous. I'm going to be in a magazine. You're all going to want my autograph and like selfies with me and stuff. Um, it's not in the April issue. So when the lady that emailed me to tell me it was going to be in the next issue, which she emailed me in, earlier on in March to say that, I'm assuming that means the next issue that she was working on, not the next issue that was coming out, because it's not in the April one, and it's not in the May one, It can't have been in the March one because she was emailing me in March about it. That would be a little bit last minute, wouldn't it? So, well, we'll have a look at the June one when that comes out in May and see, see what's what. So this could be going on for a long time. I don't want to alarm you, but I might still be talking about this in July. So sorry, I apologize. Also, um, the other day I couldn't work out whether, oh, sorry, I'm wobbling this all over. I couldn't work out whether it was gonna be April on Sunday when you watch this, or if it'd still be March. It's It'll still be March, because I looked at a calendar, so. I mean, you'll know that because when you're watching this, if you watch it when it comes out on a Sunday, you'll know that it's March. Also, the clocks go forward on Sunday. Um, so, this will still be up at 9.30 or maybe I'll put it up a bit earlier because sometimes I do that. But you'll also know that because when you watch this, it's it's already happened. This is a really, really great segment. See, a proper vlogger would delete this Thursday segment and refilm it, but I'm not gonna, because this is what I'm like in real life all the time. So I just talk absolute crap continuously. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop now and I will no doubt see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching this extremely interesting segment. of the week it's the end of the weekly vlog tomorrow i am going on my friend's hendo happy hendo steph if you're watching looking forward to that um and i am now just enjoying a g and t and a relax and i'll see you next week for next week's weekly vlog thank you for watching